it doesn't need to equal its maximum. Okay? If you're pulling with two, and if you already know it's not moving, right? Therefore, this thing is two. It doesn't need to equal its max. I come back to the folder example. Let's say I try to move the folder, right? I'm pu pushing now with a force of one pound. It's not moving. If I push with one pound, what's the friction force on it? One pound, right? If I push with two pounds, two pounds, three pounds, three pounds, four pounds, four pounds, five pounds, five pounds, until you get to the maximum that it can be is what? Mu S N, whatever the N is and whatever the mu S is, right? So whatever the maximum is, once I beat it, then you go to kinetic friction, and the kinetic friction is constant, okay? So if the F is two, the friction force is two also. It just, it's always equal to whatever you're, you're trying to pull it with. Okay, now part B, we already saw part B. How about C? If F is one pound more than that, more than, uh, more than that, what is A? So pretty much we solved a similar. So if, one, uh, if F is one pound more than uh, what? What is the answer to part uh, B? Uh, 2.4, right? So one pound more than that is what? 3.4 minus. So if you're pulling with 3.4, the friction force is going to be what? It's going to accelerate, right? So it's going to look like this problem right here, except instead of 5, you're pulling with 3.4. That's it. 3.4 and 1.6. So that's uh, what? Uh, 1.8. Okay. How about part uh, D, part D, what is F needed so it can move at constant V once you have moved it? What do you need to drag with so that it goes with a constant velocity? What's the answer to that? 1.6, right? As long as you can match the 1.6, then you're, that's it, it goes at constant V. As long as F equals uh, FK, which equals mu KN, which equals 1.6, then it goes at constant velocity. And then part E, if uh, acceleration is one pound uh, is uh, one pound more than, if F is one pound more than 1.6, so it's now 2.6. So 2.6 minus 1.6 equals 8 over 32A. And we have now uh, 4, basically, right? This, is, this problem helps to illustrate quite a lot of stuff even though it's like a basic problem, but it helps to illustrate that the friction force Fs is not always equal to its maximum, and that once you move an object, don't use Fs anymore, or you always use Fk. Now let's do examples.